On November 27, 2022, officers were dispatched to a medical emergency at the Miami International Airport in Miami, Florida. Prior to departure, the American Airlines flight crew attempted to wake a passenger to fasten his seatbelt, but he appeared to be coming in and out of consciousness. The passenger was identified as 30-year-old NFL wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Due to the flight crew fearing he was seriously ill and that his condition would worsen through the five-hour flight, they called for police and fire rescue. Hello. It's a foot, uh, football player, and it seems like uh, either drunk too much or it's something that is not responding. Okay, the rescue's here, no? No, but it's not responding. But the rescue's here? Uh, yeah, the So you just came in, or? Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys just landed, or? I don't know. We're leaving. Sorry? We were leaving, not, okay. not taking off. Upon arrival, the officer suspected Odell was extremely intoxicated. But first, let's hear a word from today's sponsor, CF Moto. Riding without a compromise and in style has never been easier. From ATVs to side by sides and motorcycles, CF Moto makes the American dream affordable while providing an exciting adventure for the whole family. Personally, I enjoy their motorcycle lineup, which features a variety of styles that can suit every rider. All models are made with high quality performance components and uncompromised safety technology. There's no way better to engineer an escape than on a CF Moto machine. Click the link below and find the dealer closest to you. Come on, come on. I don't know, he said he's like that, he's been like that. Yeah. You waking him up or no? No, he know it. He opens up his eyes. Sir, are you able to get up? Can you get up, please? You okay? Yeah. What's wrong? The airline's called for you, sir. I don't know what it is. You good? How you doing, bud? Not that you'll be no responsive, but we're trying to get to a man's place to play first. He's probably on a deep sleep. You know where you're at, sir? He's very tired. Okay. He looks good to me. Yeah. Okay. No, Where's his pants? Oh, sorry. Sure. Where's the baby's pants? What do you mean? He's only got his underwear. Yeah. Yeah, they're on. Are they on now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They weren't on before. No. Okay. Go back. Go back, Frank. Okay. Go back. Go back. We're good. Yes. Yeah. We're good. Okay. Do you know how many times you've shaken him to put a seatbelt on and he's wearing his phone? If you don't want him to fly, that's a decision that you guys are going to have to make. That's, you know, you tell the captain and then we'll, we'll get him out, but that's something that you guys got to make. Multiple times, multiple people. Hey, sir, sir, put your seatbelt on. All we're getting is this. I, we're, this is a five-hour flight. Yeah, this is five hours. Going with this five hours. Then that's up to you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's up to you guys. Okay. But medically, if he doesn't want us to check him out, I can't make again. And I don't really say anything wrong. He might be tired. Or have you taken a long yeah, trip and doesn't want to follow orders? That's a whole other animal. He told her he just came from a club. Yeah. Okay, okay. I get that. He's and tired. He's, and he's taking stuff. Like he's not even responding to put on his seat or he, even he just responded to know where he's at. He, he knows where he's at, exactly where he's flying. And he had pants on when he came on. He doesn't he have pants on now. His pants are on now. His pants are on. Well, now? he had shorts on. Had to wear. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, we'll do whatever you decide. If you want, we'll stand by out here because I don't know what's going to be right. I don't know what you want us to do as far as fire rescue. Because I, I put it down as a no patient found. I tried to reach down to the fasten the seatbelt, but I saw that he had just the underwear I was going to grab. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be outside. You know who that is, right? We'll go back. Yeah? Fuck off there. Yeah. Though, no, he's not playing. No, no, that's right. Nobody's picked him up. I think, when, I think I, personally, I think once this is this started, we've gone back to the gate and laid all these. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs>
know, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you guys tell us you want him off? Well, well, I think it's happening. I think the, the agents tell me he's getting off. <laughs> if he can walk off. Well, we got fire there. <laughs> yeah. Easy win. He played for the Giants, he played uh, for the Rams. Is he playing now? I don't think he's in the league right now. I don't think they've signed him. Flight attendants asked Odell to exit the plane, but he refused, causing all passengers to deplane. And then what happened? And I, I went by. So the captain's heard he's getting off. He's trying to get him to get his things. Okay. I, we tried to get him to get his seatbelt, and he wouldn't. He just yeah. he would take check his head and go. He's mad go at us because we called you. I said, we're worried about you. Okay. That's fine. You guys are doing your, you guys are doing your job. He's going to go deteriorate once we get in the air. Of course. So he's all there. Don't worry. So, the captain wants him to get him off, but he doesn't want to get off, so stay here, please. Well, that's going to be a totally different thing if he doesn't want to get off. Okay, so he's at that point now, he won't tell me? Like, we have a procedure that we have to follow. If he refuses to get off, you're going to have to be bored, everybody. Because it the situation? Correct. At least everybody got that way. <laughs> At a first no, class. So he's going to be Start Sorry, I didn't hear you. He no, he doesn't want to come off. He so does he, not want to come off. So now he's coming to the next. Okay. Advise the sergeant to come here. Um, motor seventy is on the way. He needs to come off. We're gonna have to deport everybody. Okay. In first class. In then, first class. Okay. We raise them no, 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 no. The entire. Uh, uh, it's two thousand. I, I believe it's a whole. It's a whole plane. Huh? You got to deport the whole plane. No. Um, yeah. Shall I take on that? Not yet. Well, let's see. I think he's still talking to us. Because we can't do anything until a supervisor doesn't get here. He was refusing to come off? Okay. Okay. Here we go. I mean, I'll call him. He's refusing to come off. He's got to have money. Because he's in first I mean, class. He's on the back of you follow football? Oh my Odell. God. That's Odell. Odell Beckham. Odell, 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 Odell Beckham. No, it's um, not. 30, 30. Yeah. So she wants him off. They, the captain wants him off. They were taxiing out. Yeah. So, yeah. so they want so, Odell back. What, what is he? What is he? I mean, what has he done to make him want to? Can I get his signature? Like, from they're afraid they're going to have him make like emergency. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh my God! I left my phone. Too bad. I didn't even have my phone, bro. I left my phone. That's too bad. Apparently, they said that he took off. He said he took off his pants. Oh, really? He was in underwear. He told the lady that he's been clubbing all night. He's probably either drunk or both pills and drunk. Yeah, we gotta deboard everybody. There's a procedure. We can't. We gotta wait for a supervisor to get here. Make sure as each individual person gets off, just let them know what they're on. That's why we're all deboarded. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Just, just get off the plane. Just get off. Get off the plane. You can get off the. You just if you. Hey. Uh, at one point he had his pants off and his other ears. Uh, they're asking me to leave the plane because they don't want to fly five hours to LA with him in these conditions. Not responding, put on your seatbelt, and broke them off. And, uh, so, uh, I think I'm off. And they said, could I get a Bro, this, this oh. guy, this guy, the, uh, people are telling him, hey, get off the plane, don't make everybody do it. Fuck you. Okay. Right. We're gonna get. Uh, huh? Yeah, get away. We're gonna yeah. deport everybody, right? Or just first well, class? Well, we're gonna have to, yeah. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, it's everybody. So she needs to start making that. Yeah. 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 So you. Do you want me to tell her? Yeah. Oh. Yes, everybody. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. They're they're gonna announce it now.
Okay. Uh, who's the guy in charge? The guy all the way over there? Yeah. How you doing, hey, sir? You're the, you're the uh, so, so, person yeah. in charge? How you doing, Sergeant yeah. Garcia with the yeah. Police Department? So I understand that that one passenger is very, he needs to get off, right? Yeah. He's severely intoxicated, belligerent. No, he just that he was unresponsive prior to push. He seemed okay. Then after when they pushed, they tried to get him to put his seatbelt on, but he was still passed out. When he came back, we are trying to get him up. Couldn't get him up. Called paramedics. They finally got him up. Crew at this time don't feel comfortable with him flying because they're not sure what's going on with him. So I just kindly asked him to just go ahead and be plane and I'll put him on the next flight. Which actually leaves an hour and a half from now. Okay. But now he's being belligerent and non compliant to the one to come on. So unfortunately, I have to deplane everybody to get him on. Correct. Because okay, he refuses you know. to come on. All right, so that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to deplane everybody. Once we have everybody deplane, then we'll deal with him. Uh, and hopefully he'll, he'll get off yeah. peacefully. If not, then. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Okay. okay. How you doing, man? Can I speak to you for a second? Yeah, yeah listen. How you doing, boy? Rene Garcia, Sergeant with Miami-Dade Police Department. Nice to meet you. Listen, unfortunately, it's not our decision. We just don't understand. Listen, apparently you, you were passed out. They had to wake you up. They had to come back. Uh -huh. I've taken off. We need to take the calls. The plane is taking off. The phone is in. We're going to get in the middle of the flight. 13-hour flight. We've got eight hours to the flight. It has to be out from any airline. I've never had this happen in the It's been no, I get, I, I get, I get some version, but apparently... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Listen, we're, we're trying to we're trying to accommodate you. Okay. Pick up your phone. Listen, we're trying to we're trying to accommodate you. But listen, 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 what's gonna happen, brother? And just I don't I want to avoid any embarrassments or any issues. The crew, the the captain's the one that makes the final decision. Right now, for whatever reason, they're asking you to leave. They're gonna rebook you on the next flight. I don't want it. Okay, well, this is what's gonna happen. As soon as they get off, you can do whatever you gotta do. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to deplane everybody on this plane, and then you're still gonna get off. That's fine. Okay. What fine. I'm saying is, I would be less addicted about what was going on. So, All right, so we're, we're going to have to go through that process, and then we're going to ask you, okay? That's fine. All right, much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay? What's your name again? Sergeant Garcia. Rene Garcia. Okay, Thank you. So listen, just make yourself comfortable. Once we get planned, then I'm going to ask and then we'll just walk off, okay? And hopefully they'll, they'll put you on the next flight, okay? All right. Talk to him, big dog. Look at me all you want. I said, you're not making me feel good. Hey, hey, just, just follow and trust me. Okay. Everybody needs to get off. That's it. I'm not 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 I would never, ever in my life, get off the plane for you, specifically you, maybe everybody else, I would get off the plane, that shit don't mean nothing to me, ain't no way you could look at me, ever, ever. You gonna wait 40 minutes, and I'm gonna be on a private plane home. Yeah, get your fat ass. Yeah, I will. Get your ass off the plane for a second. Yeah, I bet. Enjoy the cheese board on the way home. Get your ugly glass. Shit, don't mean nothing to me, bro. Got life fucked up. I'm sorry. All you have to do is wake me up. Yeah, you guys plane around the galley. Got that. 
never, uh, never, never in my entire life I've seen one of those games. I've never, I've never in my entire never, I'm still on the phone. I mean, everyone get off the first class because I wouldn't get off the plane. No, no, I kid you, I kid you not. I flown in London 13 hours, woke up 8 hours on the flight with 5 hours left. Much that I'm sorry, bro. And then a white man go look at me talking about, just get off the plane. Bitch, now you made it my point to not get off the fucking plane. I'm living, I'm surrounded by 19 officers. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're asking for your cooperation that all passengers must keep yeah, playing with all your luggage. Thank you. I so what we're gonna do? I got to play the whole everybody because if, if, they, if, it, if it does become physical, we don't want any civilians involved. Hopefully, we're gonna go. Now, if he doesn't get off, then I'm gonna give him a fast pass more. You know what I'm saying? Hey, now if you're not, you're refusing. Now you're subject to arrest for trespass after warning. warning. Because at the end of the day, you can't be here. This is like a business. It's like being at a, a Circle K. But you know, they don't want you here. But no, I want to still be here. Well, no, that's not the way. We're doing this for safety reasons. Exactly. Right? For safety reasons. I'll give him an another opportunity, Mr. Beckham. Will you depart now? If he doesn't, then I'll issue the trespass warning. Are you good with that? Yep. Okay. And then if he's still, then he'll be subject to arrest, and then we'll see what happens from there. Okay. All right. Great. So we're on the same plan. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Is this American? American yeah. Airlines. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as you're exiting the aircraft. Keep in mind that uh, hopefully this will be a uh, shorter um, process than... Thank you. It depends that you stay on the flight, for sure. Well, us, us checking you out doesn't make it... It's all good. If you just want to be obligated to ask if, if you want to be checked medically, it's up to you. Can you check me so that everyone knows that they fucked up here? I think what happened is because of the third flight. Fell asleep before the flight. Right, and, and they just thought maybe it might lead to a, a further emergency in the air. And that's why they have to take the call. It's, it's just, it's not, there's nothing to do with it. It's just liability. I, just I know, I just, I, honestly, we all can't believe this, but, but, watch, you know, we just, we just hope that you can do the right thing because it's, it's holding up everybody else over there. I, I know it's holding you up too. <laughs> Trust me, I, I understand. I understand. But they already. They already. They're gonna check you out, right now, brother. Yeah, they're gonna check you out. 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 Yeah, they you know, at the end of the day, we got the numbers, but... Yeah. Did you call them all the numbers? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Because this is going to be a yeah. media circus, yeah. I'm sure. They're all going to want to know what really happened. I'm going to get off, but can you make sure one favor? The, the, the white man or the red shirt, do not let me walk by him. No, 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 no. We'll walk you out. Don't worry about it. Don't slip, don't slip on that, brother. Don't slip on that. It ain't, but it ain't worth it, bro. That ain't worth it. I've never, I've never experienced this in my life. Whatever you do, say. Try your best. Try your best. It's hard. It's hard because trust me. We do that every day. It's only hard because my ego. So I'm gonna be alright. And I'm going to go ahead and check. I'm going to walk up. You got it. Fight it. You don't want to. I'm telling you. I'm good. You give me chills, man. Thank you. I feel what you're saying. I swear. I promise you. It's like it took all this just to wake me up. Well, it's coming from a place of love, man. Thank you, bro. All right. I appreciate it. We'll walk you out. Just tell them to be in departures. And give us a door where they're at. And hey, we got everybody else. Okay. Don't forget your stuff up here. That's not. Okay. Oh, hey. Hey.
we're getting a... Where are they going to pick you up? Do you know? Wherever. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go out by, um, by door three or four or whatever. That way you can call. Sorry. All right. Excuse me, folks. Excuse me. Thank you. What's the fastest? So, uh, through here? Three? Three? Yeah. We're going to go downstairs so where you can get your luggage. We'll show you where it's at. Well, I got my son's Christmas right here. Hey, what? You there, um, it's over by door what? Where, where you go pick up your luggage and stuff? Mo, what, by what door we got to go for the luggage? Four or five, right? Yeah. How you doing? I'm okay. So we had an incident on a flight going to LA where a gentleman was extremely okay. intoxicated, inebriated. Long story short, okay. he was asked to leave. We had to deplane everybody, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he finally came off voluntarily. He has checked baggage in that flight. Okay. So it's really hard to get us to get that. that okay, uh, whatever the procedure is, I'm not telling you how to do your yeah, job. So he just have to wait, and the bags will be in LAX when he gets there. Bags are going to LA. Hey, so I just spoke to the lady. She said, listen, those, on a flight that big, those, those bags are in a container, so they, they get sent to LA. So when you get to LA, you can pick up, you can pick them up there or have somebody pick them up. Yeah. All right? Uh, if you're going to have somebody pick you up, just tell them that you're by door, uh, by door three uh, arrivals and they can pick you up here, okay? I'm a man, I'm out of here. You have a good one, okay? Yeah, yeah, he'll pick it up in LA, okay? Mom, let's go, so let's, go. let's go. Several individuals alleging to be on his flight complained on social media about his behavior causing a delay. American Airlines later released a statement on the incident. Odell also indirectly addressed the event on Twitter saying, never in my life have I experienced what just happened to me. I've seen it all. His attorney also spoke out about what transpired. In summary, he stated Odell was causing no problems. He was soon awakened and asked to put his seatbelt on or he would have to exit the plane. Eventually, they informed him it was too late and he had to leave. He claimed at no time was Odell disruptive or combative and that it was an overzealous flight attendant who wanted to prove he had authority over Odell. It's believed he did not receive a citation and was released as a result of the incident.